What's poppin', what's poppin', welcome to Life According to Rick. If you are new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you are not new and have been following, welcome back. The love is always appreciated. So today is going to be a very special video. We are going to be talking about Moon Knight. So who is Moon Knight? We finally got the first trailer for Moon Knight that will be releasing on March 30th on Disney+. Plus. A lot of people um, don't really know who Moon Knight is, so I'm here to break down uh, who is Moon Knight and the trailer so we can kind of get like an idea of what, what the show entail and what to look ahead. So let's get into it. So Moon Knight is Mark Spector. He is a son of a Jewish rabbi who joined the Marines and then went to become a CIA operative and then became a mercenary. While being a mercenary, he became really good friends with Jean-Paul Duchamp, which he calls Frenchie. While working with Frenchie, they go and they work with Raul Bushman, who is a bad dude, if you ask me. And they are in Egypt, and they discover a tomb um, with some archaeologists with uh, Dr. Peter Arlene and his daughter Marlene. Now, Marlene is... a uh, Mark Spector's love interest, so we could see her in the show, not too sure, um, based off of the comics and based off of the trailer. Um, there are a lot of differences um, as far as the storyline goes. Um, it is somewhat similar, but you know, Marvel tends to switch up um, stuff um, on the shows compared to the comics, but somewhat similar. Now, Moon Knight was first introduced in uh, The Werewolf by Night, uh, issue 32 in 1975. Um, he then became popular and got his own comics in 1980. Now, Bushman, all he cared about was getting the gold that was inside the tomb. He then goes and he kills Dr. Peter Arlene and Mark Spector intervenes and he pretty much it gets mauled and he gets destroyed by Bushmen and he's pretty much like left for dead. Um, these Egyptian people that believe in the ancient god Khonshu, which um, he is the uh, god that gives Mark Spector his powers. They bring him to the tomb. Um, his heart then stops and he pretty much like has a vision um, and Khonshu tells him that he will bring him back to life if he is a uh, moon knight so he pretty much becomes like his avatar because Kanchu um is not able to physically be on earth he pretty much like has like this psychic ability uh to connect with mark specter so he comes back to life he pretty much gives him this uh, these abilities of becoming moon knight and he goes and he kills a uh, bushman and then he goes back to New York and he wants to like fight evil. So he takes the persona of Moon Knight and it goes off from there. Now, because he wants to kind of like keep it secret that uh, he is Moon Knight, he kind of takes like all his um, earnings that he's made as a mercenary and he then invests in money and then he becomes like kind of like a wealthy person. And then if you kind of like think back and you look at it, you kind of see there's a lot of similarities to Bruce Wayne and Batman because uh, he creates one of his uh, alter egos, uh, Stephen Grant. Now, Stephen Grant is like this billionaire. He has money and he's kind of like with the high roller. So he kind of knows what's in what's going on in the mix as far as like the underworld, you know, with the with the big players. Right. He also creates an alter ego of Jake Lockley. So Jake Lockley is basically a cab driver, you know, because he wants to be like this vigilante and kind of like stop crime um, as Moon Knight. You know, he wants to know what's like a high level um, threat. So that's why he creates Stephen Grant. And then as Jake Lockley, he becomes a cab driver. And so he kind of hears what's going on in the streets. So that way he can kind of like minimize the low level threats. And so he creates that persona. Um, and then, you know, he pretty much has to like decipher, you know, these these um, different personalities that he has. He kind of like has like a mental breakdown 
and he's then diagnosed with disassociative identity disorder. He has a difficult time, you know, kind of like depicting what's real and what's not because of all these different um, personalities that he has. So, you know, it's a lot that's going on. We kind of see that in the trailer. Um, now, from what I've gathered in the trailer, we do see Stephen Grant. Um, the only difference is that Stephen Grant is like some gift shop worker at like some museum and, you know, it's totally different from the comic books because Stephen Grant, as like I said, he is this rich dude and he kind of like has all these gadgets and all this stuff to, you know, kind of do the Moon Knight um, persona. So let's get into the intro. As we see here, the Marvel Studios logo is rotating and that has to do with um, Mark Spector um, getting his abilities from the moon. He is at his strongest with a full moon. Um, so depending what kind of moon it is, um, it all you know reflects on how strong he is. We kind of see him here tied up to the bed. So it has to do with possibly him kind of just switching personalities. He can't sleep and he's kind of trying to stop himself from doing stuff that you know he doesn't realize that he's doing due to his uh, disassociative disorder. Um, so it's pretty crazy. You know, I'm really excited to see um how the show is going to play out um there's a lot of stuff going on here here we get a quick glimpse of Khan Chu kind of coming towards Mark Spector um he's tweaking out he doesn't know what's going on he's he doesn't know if it's real or if it's fake um he's his mind is just all distraught um but like I said um Khan Chu has a psychic connection with Mark Spector it's kind of one of the only ways that he can kind of like reach out to him and whatnot. We see here Mark kind of find like a telephone and he answers the phone and he hears a woman's voice um, and she calls him Mark. He's kind of like caught off guard. He doesn't know who Mark is and that has to do with his different personalities. Um, he is obviously in the Stephen Grant persona. Um, so I have uh, thoughts to believe that this is Marlene calling Mark on the phone and asking him like what's going on. Um, she believes that he's dead, but you know it all has to do with him being um, under the Stephen Grant persona. Now Ethan Hawke will be in the show playing Dr. Arthur Harrow. Um, I do believe he is going to be the main villain in the show. Um, he is a, a doctor that um, kind of specializes in pain therapy. Um, he is up for a Nobel Peace Prize in the comics, but due to him um, using some secret um, Nazi research um, in the comics, um, he kind of like becomes under the radar um, for Moon Knight. Um, I do believe in the show he probably will use Mark Spector um, to experiment on um, due to um, Moon Knight's uh, ability to withhold pain. Um, so we kind of see um, Ethan Hawke's character in the show kind of being followed um, by people. They even bow to him. So it's kind of like some cult. Um, so it, it's kind of funny, but we will see how everything will play out in the show. Now we see Moon Knight here beating something up. What is he beating up? He's beating up Werewolf by Night, who is also known as Jack, Jack Russell. Now, Jack Russell is a, um, he's pretty much somebody that got his um, werewolf genes passed down from his father. Um, Disney will be doing a Halloween special in the fall, um, kind of bringing, you know, more background to uh, Jack Russell's character and the werewolf by night. Um, so that's pretty exciting. So we're going to learn more about Jack Russell and the werewolf by night character. Um, in the show now in the comics obviously how I explained earlier um, Moon Knight was first introduced in the werewolf by night comic um, he pretty much um, uh, Set out to stop uh, the werewolf by night by a group called the committee and When he realizes that the committee is trying to use uh, Jack Russell as a weapon he then releases um, the werewolf by night 
um, and then they somehow form an alliance. Now, in the comics, Mark Spector, Moon Knight, has worked alongside with Spider-Man. He has worked alongside the Avengers, and he has worked with uh, the Midnight Suns. Now, I'm excited about the Midnight Suns because I have theory and think to believe that Marvel will Marvel will eventually uh, start introducing um, Midnight Suns characters and they will develop the team and that will be super dope because it's uh, consists of Blade. We all know that uh, Mashala Ali is casted to play Blade so we will be seeing his character soon. He was in the Eternals post credit as we see Dane Whitman um, open up the case with the sword. We hear Blade's um, voice in the background um, speaking to Dane Whitman. So um, I'm pretty confident and I am sure that at some point we will see them working together. So that's pretty fire um, just to see like those connections coming together. He works along with Ghost Rider who is also part of the Midnight Suns. Um, I do believe that Marvel um, will at some point introduce uh, Ghost Rider back into the MCU. Um, it is possible that we may get some references um, at the ending of the show. Um, and also we could see Dane Whitman um, as Black Knight or just as Dane Whitman um, in the final episode of uh, the Moon Knight series. Now, don't take my word for it. That's, those are just rumors that are up in the air. But if it does happen, I'm excited to see it. I'm here for it. Um, so, super hype. Um, also, the Punisher is part of the Midnight Suns. Um, I know that um, with the Marvel Netflix characters um, gradually kind of making their way um, towards the MCU, it is possible we can see the Punisher some point in the future. Um, so that's very exciting to see. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, this that's who Moon Knight is. Um, he does have um, a lot more um, different personalities. He has uh, Mr. Mr. Knight, which is pretty much just Moon Knight, but he is in like this all white suit with a mask. He works with the cops, you know, to kind of help them, you know, solve these cases and stuff like that. Um, but the the show itself, I do feel that we we might just see um, Stephen Grant. Um, hopefully, we do get to see the other personas of Mark Spector. Um, but hopefully, if that's the case, then it's something that they can kind of like do more seasons and kind of like introduce each of his personas into the show. Now. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. And you guys already know. I will catch you guys next time.